Hickok 45 here. Where's here? Yeah, still in Texas. And thanks to Mike, Machine Gun Mike, from YouTube fame, <laughs> we have some interesting toys to play with. So we appreciate Mike letting us uh, borrow some of his favorite firearms. Uh, be sure you check him out on YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description to Machine Gun Mike. And this is one of his uh, special babies. The STG 44, MP 44, known by two or three different names. Not much difference, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So we're going to look at it, shoot it a little bit. Uh, want to appreciate their support. And we especially appreciate Mike, because this is a firearm that I have never fired uh, until today. I've never, I guess, held a real one. So this is pretty neat. You see some of the 22 uh, caliber versions of these uh, in gun shops, but this is an STG 44, MP 44, as it says right there on the receiver. But they were essentially the same, same thing, just a couple of very minor uh, differences. And this is not a firearm that you're gonna find uh, very many of in your local gun shop or even gun show probably. <laughs> they're, they're not common. They're uh, fairly rare, expensive. This one happens to be all matching, so that's pretty special. And it is, get ready now, what I'm going to say, it's an assault rifle. Yeah, Sturmgewehr, STG 44. Uh, Sturmgewehr means, means literally in German, I think it's Storm, uh, in English, uh, assault. But this really was the first successful assault rifle. There was some Federoff or something that was made before this, but this was the one that started the, I guess you could say trend almost, towards an intermediate size cartridge. And there it is beside, the, look how dirty my hands are, I've been shooting. Uh, the smaller one, you know, is the round. 792 by what, 33, it's the, uh, the round for the, the Sturmgewehr, uh, the MP44. It's a short little guy. It's uh, sometimes called the uh, nine mil or the uh, eight millimeter short or curse. If it goes, it, they took kind of the the eight millimeter round, you know, the miles around the what the seven by ninety two by uh, seven nine seven point nine two. I'm trying to say by what fifty seven, and they shortened it, and look what they came up with. And it's the, kind of the same principle. That's one reason I have the AK, the 762 by 39 round out here. Kind of the same principle, uh, 30 caliber round or 762 round, 792 round, uh, that's just shorter. And can real still reach out two, 300 yards, maybe four or five, you know? It's not a machine pistol. You know, up to this, uh, the machine pistol was pretty popular. What this did was it, it gave you more capabilities. And uh, I understand Adolf Hitler himself was very impressed with it. And it's rumored he even gave it the name, uh, Sturmgewehr. Don't know if that's true or not, but uh, he really liked it. He liked that concept of storm, you know, stormtrooper storming the enemy, assaulting the enemy. And uh, like I say, the word uh, literally, I think, means storm or assault, uh, Sturmgewehr. So this, this is a, a very interesting firearm for that reason. Its place in history is uh, well set, kind of unique. And of course, you know, after this, you know, you know the firearms that are out there now, the AK, you know, 47, you know. Uh, uh, well, I started, well, I guess maybe I could say it's more, a, an even more successful version of this, I guess you could say. Uh, so. Anyway, that's kind of the origin of it, and it's a, it's a very cool rifle. I'll show you just briefly how, how it works. It's, uh, let me take the magazine out because we, we wanted to put it in there just to show you what it looks like. It is uh, a loaded magazine, nothing in the chamber. A very unusual bolt. Okay, so let's turn him over here, and I'm going to take him apart. Pull this, uh, let's see, the first thing you do is take this pin out. And watch him fly away on you there. You spring, goes right into the stock. It's <laughs> pretty interesting. Okay, and uh, you open that up. Now this this is uh, kind of riveted. You can't just pop that out uh, as easily as you can on most modern firearms. You know that. So this might remind you of an H and K. I think uh, H and K. I had an H and K uh, 93 once, and that or the 91. It might remind you of that. Get your gas piston, a little bit AK ish like, huh? And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool piece of history, that bolt.
all matching. He's got him a pretty nice prize here. I'll just slide that right back in. Uh, it helps to turn it up on the muzzle. And there's a muzzle protector kind of on it, so we can do that. Let's bring it up. Just let gravity be our friend and get him back in position there. Okay. There we go. All right. This thing has a lot of character, doesn't it? Uh, it's worn, but it's, uh, it's, it's cool. All right, let me make sure I don't spring this thing off the table here. Get back together. Oh, we got to close up the trigger mechanism there into the mechanism. All right, pin back in. All right, we don't have a lot of ammo for this, but we're going to take a couple of shots with it. it uh, I fired it once or twice semi-auto, but I have never fired one of these in uh, fully auto uh, fire in, in my life. In fact, like I said, I've never held one. So that's one of the cool things about uh, what about doing what we do. You know, we, uh, uh, we try to work hard and share a lot of things with you, but there are a lot of perks. You know, we really don't deserve them. But they're just a lot of perks, and uh, we appreciate invitations and uh, the opportunity. A lot of people have lent us some really cool firearms over the years, and it's just uh, it's just really really nice. It's our privilege and our pleasure to to be able to 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 shoot them and to bring them to you all to share them with you. Okay, so anyway, we're trying to share them with you. Let's share this with you. How about a little noise? Put your ears on out there because I'm going to shoot the thing. I don't think there's anything else I was going to tell you, you know, lies about it. You know, it's got the Waffenamp marks on it. Uh, this gun is a Nazi special, man. Takes us back into a bad time in history, right, for a lot of people. It really does. So, interesting piece of history. All right. Sturmgewehr assault rifle. We will call this an assault rifle because that's really what it is. Notice that dust cover. Does that remind you of anything? Interesting, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, let's just take a couple shots with it. Right there's your uh, select fire. Uh, in uh, that configuration, it fires semi-auto. You push it, it's full auto. All right, pretty windy out here. Hope you can hear me. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and fire full auto. Is that all right? Because I have fired it a couple times semi-auto. I don't want to waste my 25 rounds. All right. Here we go. We're on fire and we're on full auto. Well, let's put one in the chamber first. Then we'll be on full auto. <laughs> All right. Doesn't take long. 25 rounds. It's clear now, though. Oh, man. I have fired a full auto Sturmgewehr uh, STG 44. Sturmgewehr 44. Again, MP 44, MP 43. And there's another one even before that. But not much difference. Basically, basically the same firearm. Okay? And again, it, it uh, kind of led the way into a really useful firearm with an intermediate size cartridge. Uh, it was the first successful one. And, and, and again, it is like the AK. And, and of course, people will tell you the AK just copied it. And there's some you know similar features, right? So we won't get into all that. But you're familiar, most of you, with an AK-47. So that's kind of where it fits. You know, it really does. That cartridge the size, the weight of the firearm, the capabilities. Uh, you can take an AK, you can take this, and you're gonna hit most of what you need to hit, even out at, at 100 yards to 300 yards. It's not like you're, shot, you're firing a pistol or something. Then again, it's not an M14, it's not a 308, it's not a sniper rifle, but you know, uh, military, the Army discovered back in the 40s, really, or before even, that you know, most of the engagements were taking place at a couple hundred yards or under, or 300 yards or under that. And, and so something like this, woo, just what the doctor ordered. 
Yeah, it really was. And uh, it has led the way. So the uh, STG you know, 44 is, uh, is an iconic firearm in so many ways. Pretty cool. And again, here I am hogging it up. So we don't have a lot of ammo. And plus, this is a, a primo example. Again, all matching and everything. So I know Mike doesn't want to shoot it too much. So we appreciate the opportunity to shoot a little bit. I think, uh, excuse me, I think we're going to let John have his try at it here. So I'm just going to shut up and, and give it to John. Thanks, Dad. Okay, John Hickok here. I get to shoot this thing, and I'm, I'm just honored to get to shoot it. Uh, you know, I, too, obviously appreciate Machine Gun Mike for letting us do this. And uh, this thing is just, just amazing. It, it's amazing. On one level, it's amazing to even get to see one of these. And to get to shoot it is just uh, beyond amazing. Um, this thing doesn't have the uh, the brightest history attached to it, but it's uh, it's a big part of American history, and it's just it. Uh, I feel like it almost says something about America that we're able to in America fire this gun. Now, of course, there's other countries where they might have these and also fire them, but the fact that we can legally, under controlled, safe um, situations, fire a gun like this and what it's been through and everything. You know, it's 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 really neat to get the fire. Is what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, without further ado, let me put some rounds down the range of this thing. All right. Can't exactly uh, pick one of these up at your local gun shop, so I'm really gonna savor this experience for sure. All right. Oh, you didn't take it off full auto, did you, Dad? That would be disappointing. Okay. Oh, malfunction. Sort the mag out. So let's just uh, let's try it again. Okay. Okay, we're back. We had a little malfunction with it as I mean, you can kind of expect with something this old. So, okay, let's try it again. Wow, it's got a really interesting feel to it. You can uh, really feel that bolt moving back and forth. Really, really interesting gun and uh, ah, just a just a monumental uh, piece of piece of history. It's neat to get to fire. All right, Dad. I guess I don't really want to, but I guess I'll give it back to you and let you shoot it again. All right. Thanks, John. Appreciate uh, one more chance to shoot this jewel. So, uh, gosh, I don't know when I'll get to shoot a STG 44 again. So I am going to shoot one more magazine. And uh, you know, I don't think the wind will affect the uh, trajectory at about uh, whatever 30, 40 yards there. So I'm gonna send a couple more down range. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Hang up. Let's see if I can uh, clear that. I'll drop the mags in, put it on safe, drop the mag. Maybe that's all it needs. We'll see. You never know. These old World War II firearms. We'll try her again. <laughs> that went for a while. That's interesting. If I get another burst out of it, I'll be happy. It's all right. That's pretty cool. And that's okay. We have a couple of rounds left. We won't worry about that. I was just glad to get a full magazine to fire and then a couple of bursts here and there. So, uh, interesting firearm. It's the kind of firearm you might not even shoot. You know, and I think the owner, Mike, doesn't really even want to shoot it very much uh, just because of its, uh, well, its value, the, the history, you know, when you've got an all-matching piece like this, uh, 
you generally want to just put it up, take care of it, uh, get it out and clean it, fondle it occasionally, I guess. But uh, we appreciate the opportunity to take a few shots with it. And since I'm probably not going to pick one up next week and, uh, and you know, myself uh, and go to battle with it, I, it's not a big deal that it had a malfunction or two, right? So not an issue. Pretty cool. The uh, STG 44, MP 44. And uh, by any other name, a rose is still just as sweet. Uh, my buddy Bill said something like that many uh, centuries ago. And he was right. Pretty cool, whatever you want to call it. Life is good. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI has fully accredited distance learning programs where you can get certified in gunsmithing or even an associate's degree in firearms technology. Of course, the study includes hands-on experience, which is important, of course. So check it out. Uh, go to sdi.edu or just click on the link in the description. Okay. And also, we'd like to remind you to check out the Hickok 45 Facebook page and the Hickok 45 and Sun channel and its Facebook page, as well as Gun Culture Radio on iTunes. Now, remember all this, because I'm coming to your house randomly over the next year or two to give you a quiz on it, okay? Thank you.